It's always harder uh, to figure out how to appropriate the taxpayer's revenue um, effectively. And it's, it, it tends to be more difficult when you have too much uh, than when you have too little. Um, but that's a good thing because we want to make sure that we continue to support the economy that supports the taxpayers of Tennessee. Agriculture plays a huge part in that. It's still our biggest and most important industry statewide. And so I'm sure there will be a number of issues that, that we take up this year that are going to be relevant to folks in agriculture, to our farming communities. You will hear in the, in the governor's state of the state a number of initiatives uh, designed to help the rural areas of Tennessee, something we've worked on over the summer. Um, there will be something introduced called REO, the Rural Economic Opportunity Act, which I've been asked to sponsor, and I'm pleased to do that. You know, we farm in West Tennessee. I'm all about rural Tennessee, wherever they may be. And, um, and so there'll be some initiatives there that I think will find favor with the taxpayers. We, we live in unincorporated uh, rural East Shelby County, probably one of the few remaining farms uh, in that part of the state. But we know that the, the talent that comes from rural Tennessee, you know, whether it's east or west or somewhere in the middle, um, part of what we've been focusing on in economic opportunity is entrepreneurism in rural Tennessee. Uh, everybody's familiar with agritourism. That's a type of entrepreneurial activity. Um, tourism is up. Agritourism is up. But there are other things that we can do that are sort of high tech now. Um, bio ag and the opportunity for folks who farm to participate in the um, creation, the development, the research and science, be it uh, biopharmaceuticals, biofuels, there are all kinds of things like that that we can do, and these enable Tennesseans to, to stay where they are. They don't have to move to the big city, but to do the research and science and development, the kind of engineering um, that's necessary today. We're working hard, uh, too, on broadband to make sure that folks in rural Tennessee have access to that type of communication. Uh, it's important for research, it's important for health care in many instances, it's important for education. It's a very important issue. It's a, a mutual relationship. I'd say for the, the same reasons that they always have when I talk about the importance of the peace, safety, and happiness of Tennessee. When I talk about the, the three E's being employment, education, and economic opportunity. Um, so much of that stems from rural Tennessee and rural Tennesseans. Um, I want them to take heart and know that the best is yet to come as long as we do our best with what comes our way. And I'm convinced that working together, we will.